What's going on guys? Low Voltage Ghost here back again with another video. Sorry I've been away from uh, for a good while guys, but I've just been super busy. But today I think it's a great opportunity for me to show you guys how I usually install one of these uh, HES 8000C uh, electric strikes. Uh, I'm going to be installing it on this door right here. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I usually uh, cut these out. Um, and we'll go from there. I usually use my uh, isolating tool, some uh, good brand blades, and uh, cut it out. We are dealing today with the, and I already took the screws out, we're dealing today with a uh, wood frame. And I already cut this out so I wouldn't mess up the, the paint, but still going to get a little messed up anyways. But anyways, uh, I take this out, and then I measure the center, but I'll show you guys right now. So after taking these two screws out right here, I just pull this out and uh, throw that away. Take this little small piece out. And uh, what I usually do is uh, close the door to find my center. And just a quick tip, make sure the door is unlocked. But I usually close it and uh, put a mark right there. As you guys can see, I put a mark there with my pencil, the center. Now I can go ahead and go from there when marking out my uh, strike. Let me show you guys real quick what comes in here. So, are your instructions. A couple. Uh, beauty plates, strike plates, it's little ears right here in case you got a metal frame, got your 12 bolt and 24 bolt pigtails, and got your strike here, so yeah guys, here I usually grab uh, this plate that's going to be installed in front of the strike, so it looks nice and pretty, right, and uh, from the screws here, you grab the two smaller ones, and uh, put them here and here so this can hold together and then once I have this together we can go ahead and uh, get a estimate of how much we got to cut out and draw around and see how much play we got so far we got it like, looking like this those two screws are the one that the ones that I added and I added this plate on top of the actual strike so what I do then is um, from that center mark that I marked right there, I uh, put my strike there, so in the center, and um, I uh, draw a line all around this uh, piece right here, this outer space of this strike. That way I can go ahead and uh, start cutting the deep cuts in here, and then once I can make a fit in there, I draw this outer line here so I can go ahead and chisel out this part right here without really having to cut a big old notch and uh, start chiseling everything carefully on this outer perimeter but that's uh, pretty much my center right there and then except just place this right here and go from there all right guys now that i have uh marked where i'm gonna be doing the deep cuts i usually like to mask it up and uh just in case my uh, isolating tool jumps around, then I could go ahead and chisel out details. But just so you guys get an idea, what I'm doing here is uh, I just mas masked out the back of the strike, the deepest cuts. Once I uh, get that flush in there, this strike is going to go ahead and uh, give me these other dimensions. And I'll go ahead and draw those on the masking tape and cut those out, which I'm going to be chiseling that carefully. But yeah, looks like I'm going to have to take this off, make it deeper, and go from there.
feel these wood frames as you have gone through. As of right now, we'll show you the next part. Right. Now. All right, guys. Now that we have uh, our cut out here, we grab our strike. Like I said, with the beauty plate in the front, and we the goal is now to make this plate here flush. So what I do is uh, I make sure it's in place there. Got a little pencil, and you mark around your masking tape, nice and neat. holes too if you want but technically this space here is what you're gonna have to chisel down now to make this plate nice and flush with the wood frame all right guys after I forgot to tell you guys but I usually cut this out and uh, you just this is gonna be all hand work you just chisel all this out Little by little until you make your uh, striker plate right here uh, flush with the surface. Alright guys, once you guys have actually uh, cleaned this out nice and neat, Just grab your strike and make sure it's nice and flush. Okay. You're gonna grab a piece of and mark your holes here. The reason I'm marking them is because I like to uh, grab my drill and pre-drill these holes right here. That way you don't crack the frame of the wood right here. So. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to go ahead and pre-drill our holes here. As straight as you can, right, just make sure it's fucking up. guys so now that I have installed it and yes I know paint job is not the greatest but um, whenever I took my masking tape off it like literally ripped everything off I'm gonna try to see if the maintenance guy has uh, this paint right here because you take a look all this, this door is all chipped off even up there I didn't even touch it there but anyways that's how it looks once it's cut and installed I'm gonna go ahead and close the door right quick Hey bro, can you uh, just uh, move your ladder right quick? I'm gonna close the door, just test it right quick. And uh, just show you guys that uh, where the center of my plunger ended up being. And um, door is now secured. Obviously this one has a key here to get in. The door is open right now, but once it's actually secured and we're gonna end up installing a access controls badge reader right here so go ahead and actually the trigger of this and people go ahead and get in alrighty guys so we are done installing the electric strike and I uh, just want to show you right quick and like I said uh, there's a core here this is just for security purposes maybe the fire department needs to get in or anything they can go ahead and bypass the strike but as y'all can tell it's closed I'm about to badge in the axis granted 
Alrighty. Door closed. It's secured. Okay, turns green. We're good to go. But I'll show you guys right quick how this uh cutout ended up being. And yeah, I know it doesn't look that pretty, but the maintenance guy did not have any paint. So it is what it is. It's working now. So let me know what you think down below. Peace.